The Fordham University men's basketball squad took to the floor of the historic Rose Hill Gym today for their first official practice of the 2016-2017 season, the second season under head coach Jeff Neubauer. Last year, the Rams finished with a 17-14 overall record and appeared in the 2016 CollegeInsiders.com postseason tournament, Fordham's first postseason appearance since 1992. The 17 wins were the most since 2006-2007, while the Rams went 14-5 in the Rose Hill Gym, the most home wins ever. Leading the 2016-2017 Rams will be junior forward Christian Sengfelder, redshirt junior guard Antoine Anderson, and sophomore guards Joseph Chartouni and David Pekarik. Last year, Sengfelder averaged 10.3 points per game, fourth best on the team, and 5.2 rebounds per game, third best on the squad. While Anderson scored 8.3 points per game while dishing out 72 assists, second most among the Rams. Chartouni, the 2016 Atlantic 10 Rookie of the Year, set a school freshman record with 161 assists while averaging 11.3 points per game and 5.3 rebounds per game. Pekarik scored 5.1 points per game as a freshman last winter, along with grabbing two rebounds per game. Newcomers include graduate student Javante Hawkins, a transfer from Eastern Kentucky, where he played for Neubauer in 2014-2015. Two other transfers to the program are junior guard Will Tavares, a transfer from Monroe Community College, where he was a two-time All-American, and junior forward Prokop Slanina, a transfer from ASA College in Brooklyn. Another newcomer who figures into the plans for the 2016-2017 season is freshman forward Chuber Ohms, who averaged over 21 points per game as a senior in high school. All right, Coach, first uh, official day of practice. How did it go? It actually went really well, and it, it's really miraculous the difference between a second-year team and a first-year team. So our team last year gave great effort. We're really proud of the defensive mentality that our guys had. But this year, because we've got about seven, eight guys that are back from last year's team, the understanding of the expectations is much better this year. So do we have a lot to learn? Absolutely. Do we have to get a lot better? We will. However, I was strongly encouraged by today, and I told our group that. Now, you talk about having some guys back, but you lost two big guys with Mandel Thomas and, and uh, Ryan Rooms. Um, and lost a lot of leadership with that. You're kind of still a young team. You only have really one senior who's a walk-on. Who are you looking at for some kind of leadership to step, step up and assume that role? Well, the phrase that we always use is that leadership does not discriminate. And what we mean by that is we need leadership from every SID, every assistant basketball coach, every freshman, sophomore, junior. Now, the two guys that have really been terrific so far, Joe Chartuni. So he has a lot of confidence because he played so well last year. Uh, and then also Javante Hawkins. So Javante is an experienced Division I player, and that's something you're right. Our team is lacking. Javante has been through a lot of wars. So those two guys have really stepped up. However, we do need leadership from every different direction. Now, you, and you do have a lot of newcomers on the team this year, too. Um, how's it been? I mean, I know you've had some practices prior to this, you know, informal stuff. How's it been? How have they been incorporating into the system? Well, that's the best thing we have going right now. We have a bunch of great teammates, and we talk about that in recruiting. We talk about with our team. We need guys that are committed to improving and committed to being great teammates. So uh, I love our group. They are really united. There will be adversity. We're going to lose a game at some point. It's going to happen. Um, there are going to be things that don't go our way, so we'll see how we deal with that. But to this point here, going into October 1st, uh, our team is really uh, tightly knit. Great. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.